Uh, hi guys, here we have a HTC Touch HD phone, which I'm selling. As you can see, there's no SIM card in it because the SIM card's in my other phone. But it's... There you go. Turn it off, turn it on. There's the screen now. It's a fantastic HTC, very good condition. There are some scratches on the screen, but you do get that when you're using the stylus, so I put a screen protector on it. Um, and there's some, there you go, some cases there. Headphones, and there's like, pay-as-you-go plan there as well, and the charger. It's gonna come boxed with all these accessories. The screen can be replaced, and it's not expensive. So if, you know, scratches and bits like that annoy you, you know, it can be replaced quite easily. It's not expensive. I think it's about, you can get a replacement screen online. I've seen it on eBay for about 12 to 13 pounds. And there's instructions all over in line on how to replace it. And I've replaced quite a lot of screens on mobile phones before. I'm not hugely technical, so if I can do it, anyone can do it. Now, it's running Windows 6.1, but it's got a SIM card in it, a 4 gig SIM card. Sorry, a 4 gig storage card which allows which I popped Android 2.2 on now Android 2.2 isn't officially available for this device but if anyone I, I don't know if anyone's a little bit technical XD developers have developed Android for it so it can be used so let me just show you how that can be done it's not as I've said it's not official you're not really supposed to use it. I don't want anyone to screw up the phone and blame me. That's, you know, it is perfectly working as you can see. But I will show you how um, Android works on that just now. It's also got a business gold battery and obviously a spare stylus and the stylus is there. Um, this is a really good uh, aftermarket battery because it's got quite high capacity. Now, Android does take a lot of the capacity on but if you go to programs file explorer hold on it's difficult for me to do this while I've got both and I go to you know press I go to my storage card it there's Android there and if I press press Harrett you can say it says B booting Linux mm -hmm. It does the double goggy, <clears throat> and there it's going into Android right now. And now I've used it; it's quite stable. It's not bad. You can do text messages and everything like that, and it's quite cool. There are odd bits and bugs, but if I mean, I suggest if anyone wants to use Android on this, they should know what they're doing, because you can constantly update. Saying that, I was able to do it. Now it wasn't easy, but it's getting more and more stable. And those XG developers are fantastic. So they're able to, you know, the camera wasn't working first, now it is. So it just allows you to buy a really cheap phone, and this is absolutely cheap. I mean, 99 quid for all of this is bloody nothing. Considering one of these, the gel protectors can cost up to £5. The battery cost like 18 or £16, something like that. So it's really, you know, you've got the uh, spare stylus with it as well, so it's really, really, really a good deal. Now let's have a look how far that's got. There you go. Android is now starting up. Can you see that? And within, I'd say, a few seconds, <clears throat> Android will come up and it'll have all the functions on it. And So that's ready for you. You don't have to do anything. That's actually on the 4 gig card that I'm including in it. That is completely and utterly ready, but saying that, I don't want anyone to mess it up and say there's anything wrong with the phone, because as you can see, the phone is working fine. Give it two seconds and it should be up again. I think it does about four or five times, it's just loading that up. But, I mean, I've been using Android on it for the last two weeks, I'd say. Works fine. Absolutely fine. A little bit buggy. There you go, Android. There you go. But, you know, it's perfectly great if you want to use it on 6.1 as well.